I want to give a big thanks to Fairy Bell for sponsoring today's video. We will be featuring two of these 13 foot Christmas LED trees in the yard this year, and I am so Today excited. Today is the start of decorating for Christmas. As you can see, I am ready for Christmas. Oh snap. And I'm wearing green, so I'm red and greened out. So we always start with our biggest decorations first. So day one, we were setting up our largest inflatables as well as the fairy bell trees. They were going to be our main statement pieces. So with that, we always like to start with those first and just kind of work around them. The other thing is this is the first year in a brand new house. So there's always learning curves, figuring out. I was telling Bobby, I'm like, our first year is never our best year because it's our trial <laughs> period. So working on all of this first, this is a new inflatable for this year. Bobby is obsessed with it. It is 20 and a half feet tall. Um, so it is basically taking up this entire side yard and it was definitely a handful to manage in the wind. So we pretty quickly had to get all the spikes in. Um, if you're wondering what Bobby was doing to the base, he always drills out the holes in the base larger than what they have and purchases bigger spikes because the ones that normally come in the boxes just are not large enough to truly handle inflatables like this. But you're going to see throughout this video, decorating the outside is definitely a family affair. We all get involved putting everything together. We're gonna dance and dance, have a good time Dance and dance, all night long We're gonna dance and dance, and have a good time I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Bobby did also get this new 20-foot Christmas tree this year. You know, I said when we moved down here that, you know what, we really shouldn't buy anything and get anything new because we kind of have to figure this, like, house out. Um, yeah, we totally failed <laughs> uh, between the new inflatables and the new fairy bell trees. We definitely got a lot of new stuff, but... I think it all turns out really well in the end. Um, one thing we ended up not doing this year were our arches because we kind of got to remake them and figure them out. Um, at the old house, we did it on the sidewalk, but there was a larger gap between the sidewalk and the road where we don't have that at this house. So to do arches, we have to do it over the driveway, and that's going to take a little bit more finagling. Um so I am really glad we did get these new ones. Plus this yard, the front yard is so much larger than our last house that we were able to fit everything, which I did not think we'd be able to get all of this up. But in the end, we are super happy. Um, the neighbors are already like coming over, telling us how much they love the decorations and everything. And it's just, I don't know, there's something about the kids getting super excited about the decorations and then the whole neighborhood recognizing and appreciating it that always makes it really special. But now going and putting together the fairy bell trees, these were so easy to put together. Um, the pole just snapped together. Now, what I like about them, though, is they have different stuff for whatever type of house you have. So... If you have a flagpole, you can get the trees without the stand. We don't have a flagpole, so we got the stand. Um, and you can do it on there. They have wall trees, door trees, all sorts of different ones, um, depending on 
how large you want them. You can get them much larger than this. You can get them smaller than this. They just have pretty much an option for anyone's style, anyone's budget. You do not need to be insane Christmas decorators like us. This is like perfect for someone that wants a big statement piece but doesn't want to do that much work. These are beautiful, will make a huge statement, and you don't need to spend an entire week decorating like we do. Also, really cool, Fairy Bell is offering you guys 15% off their entire site through the month of December. So from you, you seeing this video all the way through December, just use my code CAMBRIA15 and you can get 15% off site-wide. We also really appreciated the cord to plug this in was really large, which is nice because sometimes you don't always have power exactly where you need it. So having that extra long cord made it really easy to find power for these. But look how pretty they are. And this wasn't even pitch black outside quite yet. And it was so pretty. So using these to flank the driveway I think made that huge light statement that we're always looking for so we may not have the arches this year but these definitely make a statement in our decor this year. So end of day one, we have all of our giant inflatables. They're all 20 feet tall, except this one is 20 feet and a half. The little family, all up. The lights were already up from Halloween, so we didn't take them down. We just changed them to Christmas. We have the Christmas trees flanking the driveway, which I am obsessed with. They had so much light and are just really pretty. So, for day one, I think it looks pretty good. I think most people would stop at this point. However, definitely, if <laughs> you're not, you don't have to be as crazy as us, but you still want something simple, that's a big statement piece, these trees are amazing. They will be linked in the description down below, so make sure you check those out. But they added 1,200 lights to the house because there are about 600 lights per tree. And we have it on both sides. Looks pretty good. Like I said, it's a family affair, so Bjorn was helping out here. Freya wanted to help as well in her own way, so I let them carry the boxes over. That way we could put them all in, and I helped let Bjorn help spike them in. Bjorn this year, though, wants Christmas hair, so I have red and green hair dye, and I have to figure out how I'm going to do his hair because he is ready for a color change. Um, I swear, if I let him change his hair color every week, he would do that, but we don't go quite that far um but he loves his hair color and you guys know me i always say it's just hair 
If he gets sick of it, he can cut it off, make it real easy. But also, ha look how long baby girl's hair is getting. It is insane, but I absolutely love it. Um, but now working on the garage door. Oh, so that's the other thing that Bobby forgot is last Christmas at the end of the year, because that's when we get a lot of our new stuff usually is the end of the year because it's all on clearance. He got so many new lights. Um, we don't even use them all in this video. And we didn't realize till we opened the bins and we had just rolls and rolls of new lights that he got on clearance last year. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter. One thing that was a little bit harder to figure out this year is, so we have music boxes that attach to our orchestra of lights setup, um, which plays the music that goes along with the decorations, which is really fun because that's when the lights flash and go all to the beat of the music. Um, so we had to figure out where we were gonna put those and what we were gonna connect them to. Last year we did them to the arches, so the arches flash to the sound of the music. So this year we decided to attach the lights around the house. We do this for multiple reasons. One, it just adds so much more Christmas lights, which I absolutely love. But also we do have people that like to like walk into our yard and take pictures with our decorations, which can be not very safe because there's wires and guide wires everywhere in the yard. So this is like a little fence barrier to let people know not to come into the yard um, just because we don't need anyone tripping and either breaking something or hurting themselves but we attached the music boxes one to each side of the yard and did the walkway as well as the trees and everything which the trees it's hard to get the sound of the music that's on the house when I'm filming but in real life when you see the trees like flashing to the music with all the other lights going it is just magical we love the music aspect just because that way when people are coming by like you have the christmas music going in the background you have the lights you have the inflatables it's it's just a whole vibe and everything goes together beautifully oh also i mentioned in a previous video that we got the new light post and everything and in this video you're getting to see this is the new light post and then if you look when we show closer to like the garage and stuff those are the new lights on the house and i absolutely love them Outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. I have to say decorating this year has been so much more enjoyable than years past because it was like these past couple of days, low 60s, um, not low 60s, low 70s to upper 60s. So Bobby was like in shorts and a t-shirt. I had long sleeves on. I was a little chilled, um, but it just made it so much more enjoyable. 
and I know Bobby liked it because normally I don't help a ton with the decorations outside. Um, and really in years past it's because he did most of the decorating at night because he was working um, a full-time job. And then also someone had to stay inside with the kids, especially Freya was a lot younger last year. She's two this year. She was only one last year. Um, so with it not being freezing, the kids were coming outside and hanging out with us. And we were able to get it done definitely a lot quicker than we have in years past. Now, we do still have a couple tweaks that will be being made over um, the next couple of days. But they're minor things that Bobby still has to do with the lights and stuff. But we were able to knock out a lot of this in about three days. Um him and I going together and we weren't freezing which is a huge bonus Here you can see me trying to figure out the wiring to go into this box. So there's six plugs on that music box. So you plug each thing into it and that's how it knows when to flash to the music. Um, and then the lights on the house and the tree are Wi-Fi connected to the main hub and they change colors and go to the music as well. Um, but these boxes are always really cool because you can use any lights you want um, and they still go along with the light show. It's like getting a light show in your house for dummies. <laughs> so if you're not one of these techie people that know how to uh, program and stuff like that, it makes it super easy. You can use your existing lights and you don't have to buy anything except the little boxes. And then you got the music and the light show to go along with it. Day two, as you guys can see, we added a lot more lights. We also added our sound boxes with the light show. So we attached all the lights up front to that. That way they all go off. I am obsessed with the trees on the light show. It just is, I don't know, so much fun, so impactful to have them all going together. But yeah lot more lights we still have stuff to do tomorrow but a good step of the way there and then we did also add some projections there's some projections on the snowman and then on the garage um, if you guys remember your past we normally have a big scene that goes on here but the clips broke last year and we still haven't gotten the new ones in, so we just put a projection there. And then over here on the fence, which this is the new fence, which you guys haven't seen yet. We have some more projections as well, but like I said, a lot more lights. We probably added over a thousand lights today. Bobby still needs to do stuff to the roof though. We still have more inflatables, so back at it tomorrow. And yes, Freya is in the same dress as the day before. <laughs> she lately has been obsessed with her Chris her princess dresses. I have been washing them every single day, and it is a fight every single night to get her in pajamas. 
Um, there's been a couple days where I've literally put her pajamas on and then her Christmas dress, or not Christmas, princess dress, over her pajamas because she's just obsessed with wearing those dresses. So it's just going with the flow. I'm just making sure they're washed and she can wear them again the next day. She also, like, I can't just grab whatever princess dress. Like, she needs to pick it out. Otherwise, she gets upset. And she'll fly out to, I'll show her one. She'll be like, nope, nope, nope. And then she'll say yes and get all excited and jump around. And that's the one she wants to wear that day. And there are just certain battles as a parent you're just not willing to fight. And when it comes to clothing and what they want to wear... I'm not willing to fight them. <laughs> if she wants to wear the same princess dress for a week straight, I will just make sure it is washed and clean and she can wear that thing. <laughs> So the good and bad thing about our yard this year is, one, most of the ground here is sand. Like, we don't really have a lot of dirt. Um, it's pretty much all sand, so these spikes go in, for the most part, pretty easy. But we do have to be careful because, one, this giant tree has root systems all over the yard. But, two, we also have an irrigation system. So we made sure that if the spike didn't seem like it was going down. We did not fight it, and we just moved the inflatable slightly because if it hits a root, that's not really a big deal. But if it hits the irrigation system, that wouldn't be a good thing. So making sure to be careful with where we're putting the spikes because the last thing we need to do is stab the sprinkler system. This year I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. So this third day was definitely the colder of the days. Not so much that the air was cold, but it was windy and it was like not raining, but misting all day long. So it was definitely a cooler day, um, which made getting all these up a little bit more difficult, but I still can't complain. I remember doing this um, in literally below zero temps, trying to get all these Christmas decorations up. One thing Bobby has talked about doing next year is getting a cherry picker renting one so that we can decorate the huge tree in our front yard all the way up. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. It would be really, really pretty to be able to do it. Um, but what makes me nervous is since we are so close to the ocean, we're literally five minute car ride from the ocean. And that's just because we got to get to a bridge and cross it to get over there. Um, that we have really, really salty air. So my fear is if we decorate the tree and leave the lights up there that the wires would just corrode and end up not working in the long run so we will see haven't decided um but that is one thing we're keeping in mind because he really really wants to deck out this tree he loves having this huge tree in our front yard um so he really wants to decorate it all the way up and just make it super super exciting and I think if we go with like white lights that's even something we could use more year round and just have a really pretty lit up tree in just pure white I'm also super excited I've noticed that our downtown area is decorating for Christmas and they have all the palm trees strung up and the light posts have um, snowflakes on them so I can't wait till 
after Thanksgiving, because I think that's when they're going to turn it all on, to see the entire downtown area decorated as well. I'm also really excited to see my parents' house this year. My my mom is always teasing me that um, I'm a bad influence on my dad because she's constantly getting Amazon links sent to her by dad of stuff he wants her to buy for decorating, um, which is so much fun. So when it comes to outside decorations, this is more of something Bobby got from his dad. His dad has always gone all out for the holidays as well. And Bobby is the one kid um, out of the five kids in his family that picked up the bug and loves decorating for the holidays outside. But growing up, my mom always did a ton inside, but my dad was a firefighter. So he worked anywhere from 24-hour shifts to 48-hour shifts, depending if he had overtime and stuff. Um, so he did simple stuff outside, a couple red and green spotlights. We had our nativity set up, but it was never, ever like this. Like, it was super basic stuff. So seeing him now retired and super excited to decorate, especially with the grandkids down here, um, has been a lot of fun. I know last year he made arches like Bobby. So I will have to, one of these days, show a little sneak peek of what my dad did outside as well. I got racks, racks in my sack or my back. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, so we are getting really close to the end where you guys get to see it all done up at night. Um, like I said, we didn't quite get it all, all up in this video, but you do see like 99% of it. I'm sure over the next day or so, Bobby will make a couple more tweaks. Um, I'm actually doing this voiceover on Thanksgiving, so he has a couple more days till we really want it like done done to do little tweaks on the yard but this is the majority of all of it so you guys will get to see it all done up and I really hope you guys enjoyed also do not forget to check out my link in the description down below to check out fairy bell to snag one of these awesome led christmas light christmas light trees for yourself and use code cambria15 and you'll get 15% off their entire site. But let's get into all the beautiful night shots.